Hello guys, Larry Show to be here, and today I'm going to be going over my top 5 Lego Ninjago movie sets. Let's get to it. This one feels a little bit nostalgic to me, because if you remember the Outpost training thing from 2011 with Cole in it, that was one of my first sets that I ever got for Ninjago, along with the Kai, um, training one. So, yeah. I can remember getting both of those at Kales and Walmart, and, uh, yeah. I'll probably pick this one up first thing when I see it. So, yeah. Very cool indeed. I'm giving, um, Number four to Lightning Jet because I feel like it looks pretty beast. And uh, yeah, it's better than the one that we got in the show. And it actually comes with Ed and Edna, so we are um, getting actual figures of those. So yeah, I can't wait to get those figures. And I can't wait to get this set. So yeah, that's why it's number four. Coming in at number three, I do believe this thing gets number three because it's very much very cool. Maybe a little bit oversized and a little bit pricey, but I think it's super cool that we're getting a Kai mech a little bit the size of Zane's titanium mech in a show. Um, yeah, or the size of uh, the evil Garmadon mech. Coming in at number two is the Green Dragon. Yeah, this is the most Japanese kind of looking dragon I've seen. And not all Japanese dragons have wings, guys. But this is, is scaled down. But I think it deserves number two because it just looks more Japanese than any of the other dragons. This might be the most detailed Destiny's Bounty I've ever seen. The heads look more realistic to dragons than the first two that I've gotten in my collection. So the first two ever Destiny's Bounties for the show. And it totally is better than the head on Destiny's Shadow. So yeah. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below. 